If you're new to the channel, this car got 222,000 miles. I did drive it last time I had it. What up, dope people? Welcome back to Easy's Rebuilds. And I'm Easy E, and this is the place to be. This is a little update video on my plant manager's 2009 Honda Accord that we picked up for the low $500. Brand new tires, got that pesky airbag to light to go off. We, we, I don't know what to say. We'll jump into all that right now because a lot has been going on over here. And this car is already sold because I'll let y'all know about that in a minute. So you see out there, mighty windy. We got those seats all the way stripped all the way down. They're ready to go to the scrap yard. I take care of business around here. Here's the Honda Accord. She's sitting up, sitting nice. Cleaned up the headlights a little bit, as much as I could. So yeah, I can't see see all of that. So we're gonna jump in to the inside so I can verify that the airbag light has been cleared from the past video. Even got the little armrest replaced. I know you can order those off Amazon for like $22. So if you got an armrest that like this, just you can order it off Amazon for $22. It's a change. I got it free from the junkyard. You got to take the door card off just to get to the screws in the back to get it changed. Let's jump on in. She's expecting us. So oh, here y'all go. No more airbag light. And all I had to do was update my freaking Autel Maxi system. I had it for over a year, never updated it. So once I updated it, I was able to get into the OP, I think the OPDS system for the seat, get into that module, and I was able to calibrate the seat. But what I messed up at when I when I got the seats, I think it was already waterlogged because the car didn't have no doors on it at the junkyard and the seat was covered in pretty much an inch of mud. And I used my, gar my garden hose to rinse these seats off. And that thing, so that sense, I think everything is all weighed down in here. And I was making where I, it, where it couldn't calibrate the seats. It does not calibrate, but I ended up figuring it out anyway with adding my, the weight, the original weight of the seat, 127 pounds with, that's how much seat pulls away, I don't know, that's how they calibrated it at, with the seat pulls away. But my neighbor Rich sat in the seat, he weighed approximately 185 pounds, did some math, kept, took off for the 227 pounds, see like weighed like an extra 100 pounds. So took off that and was able to calibrate the seat. So now it doesn't, have an airbag light on, no more codes and SR system for the airbag. Whew. But she's running good. I got that off, got order a light for this side. But my stepson Cody is gonna be buying this car. Because he had an accident in his car. Yeah, I remember 2006. Chevy Malibu that we the donation one that we got on the channel that he ended up buying it that we painted we did a whole color swap painted the whole thing black even the door jams he got rear ended the other day and him and his him and his other my step my other stepson they was trying to fight over which cars they go home buy because they both want a car and luckily the stepdad does YouTube and works on cars in my spare time. So, my other stepson, Roger, y'all seen him on the channel. He's going to take over the Chevy Impala, the blue one that I put a new ignition in a long time ago. Check out that video. So, I will no longer be making videos on that car. And 
Cody, which bought he bought the he's gonna be taking this over this 2009 Honda Accord. So I'm gonna try to post pictures up here of his the damage to the I'm looking in the rear view mirror, y'all. The damage to the Chevy Malibu Max right now. Living life every day, let it die, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better day. So y'all seen the damage? She was rear ended by someone that said that probably was under the influence of something. The way my stepson was talking about, how the guy was talking about, he was reaching for an orange, he leaned down, and when he came back up, he just ran straight back into him. You don't know why he's reaching for an orange. He doesn't even like oranges. He's wearing the wrong color pants. He's wearing black, black jeans. He usually don't wear black jeans, he wear blue jeans. He's just talking all weird, crazy stuff, but he did take a hit to the head. Because he hit his head on the steering wheel. But we're going to see how that go. With the insurance claim and everything. Because Cody did have liability only. Hopefully the other person, he said the other person had a brand new car. So hopefully they have full coverage. So hopefully get a check. Blue book value for that car. And use that money to, to get this car. If not, he may have to use his paycheck because he needs the car. Everybody got to pick him up and drop him off. That's why he's buying this one. He's not buying one of the other ones because none of the other one's going to be ready. This one is already ready. I'm not doing nothing else to it. And I told him, if he was going to be the one, if I knew he was going to be the one buying it, I'd have left the interior alone. There would have been no videos on this car. I would never did the interior swap. Learned how that, learned, even learned anything about these Honda Accords, how they got a module in the seats. Know that how to recalibrate the modules and get into them and reinitialize them and all that other stuff using my Maxi All Tail Maxi Elite. I think no, All Tail Maxi system. Got what it's called, but I don't know. But she does run good. We did the oil change. Y'all seen all that? If you haven't, go check out the videos. But I think it's gonna be a wrap for this car. There's nothing else to do. I was going to do the back brakes, but what you don't need back brakes is that the new hardware in the front was it all the way pushed down. So when the tires rotate it, there's rotating on the, the, what you want to call it, the hardware or the brake pads, little shimp, the little metal plates that go in there. Where every time they were just rotating on there. So I refixed all that, got that all done up. But he, he already been happy. He's doing this car like he did the other car. Jumping in it, sitting in it. So I like this. He already starting to order or making a list on Amazon, all the stuff he gonna order. He gonna he ordering seat covers. I'm like, boy, if you he was gonna order seat covers, well, we didn't know he was gonna get this car. But if I knew he was gonna end up getting in a wreck, I would have not changed the seats. Left them alone, because he's gonna get seat covers that's the same color as this car. Burgundy. Don't know why. But I guess so he don't Tear this interior up like he did his other car. Because y'all should know Cody by now. He had the Chrysler 300. M. They use his hot box that we got from Copart. Then he got the donation map. The donation. I'm going to say Honda. Donation Chevy Malibu. That we picked up in Rensselaer. Now to the. Bosses. I'm the third owner. Here's the second owner. Honda Accord. So, I don't got much else to say. If I think of anything, I'll let y'all know. I think I thought about something. Well, if you know this channel, this car got 222,000 miles. I did drive it last time I had it because it had 20, 221900. When I got it, it was. 221 eight something so i've been driving it around trying to calibrate because i got to calibrate while the car is driving but she got high heat code ac everything works in this car as it should be everything is cleaned up everything is good to go 
as far as we care, he don't care about the scratches. He's talking about getting repainted next year, but he got dents and dings all over this car because this was a works car, work car. And I'm all done with it. So, with all that said, so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know how we doing over here. Share this video with your friends, family, co-workers on your social media. We truly appreciate it. If you haven't already, please consider, please consider subscribing to Easy Ease Rebuilds. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we release a new video. We have merch at teespring.com. We take cash app donations and we take donations of cars. Or it might just give you 500 for your old junker, which is ain't junk. There's all links in the description area below. Go follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter with all that. Stay tuned and stay blessed, people. Deuces! Oh.